The science in the Bible, for example, was acquired by the Jews from the Babylonians during the Babylonian captivity of 600 BC. That was the best science on the planet then. But we've learned something since then. If I look at uh, the Bible, I see, uh, especially in the King James translation, great literature, great poetry. I see some powerful ethical and moral uh, prescriptions, including the importance of, of charity. I also see, see some, some dreadful stuff, including uh, mass murder of whole people with God cheering uh, one side on. Uh, I see uh, rituals and uh, a sense of community, a lot of things that are really terrific, and I'm absolutely for them, and it's hard to see how, how science could be opposed. But the Bible is not a work of science. The science in the Bible was taken by the Jews uh, from the best scientists of 600 BC during the Babylonian captivity of the Jews, but we've learned a lot of science since. So uh, uh, mainstream Roman Catholics and Reformed Jews and most of the uh, mainstream Protestant denominations have no difficulty at all with the uh, evolution of human beings from other animals, an earth that's 4.6 billion years old, the Big Bang, and so on. But on the other hand, if you are a biblical literalist, then you have problems. A biblical literalist is someone who thinks that the Bible was dictated by the creator of the universe to an unerring stenographer with no room for allegory or metaphor. If you believe that, then you have all sorts of problems on the boundaries of, uh, of science and religion.